Misplaced your keys, can't remember people's names, worried that it could be early signs of Alzheimer's. Well, researchers have found a link to Alzheimer's disease, and it has nothing to do with memory. CBS 2's Dr. Max Gomez explains how walking could signal a problem. Ann and Dave Longworth love to take brisk walks. We walk 30 minutes a day, uh, at least. It's part of their daily routine, and they're well aware of its health benefits. I'll be 65 in May, and uh, I think walking is supposed to be good for your heart. It's good for warding off Alzheimer's. A new study shows how fast elderly people walk could be related to Alzheimer's disease. This study was really building on existing data that it pays to be fit. The study, published in the journal Neurology, found a connection between slow walking speed in the elderly and the amount of amyloid protein built up in their brains. That buildup has been associated with the development of Alzheimer's. Researchers say a slow gait could signal the possibility of Alzheimer's before people show clinical symptoms. But Dr. Thomas Vishnitsky from NYU Langone Medical Center says don't be alarmed if you walk slowly. There's so many causes of being a slow walker which really have nothing to do with, with brain function. What could be happening is that the amyloid protein affects the motor areas of the brain first, slowing walking pace. But slow walking could also be due to arthritis, heart or lung problems, or just painful feet. Anne worries she could develop Alzheimer's because both her parents had dementia. But so far, she and her husband haven't slowed down. So you're going to keep it up because of oh, that? Definitely. Now, again, the study does not prove that slow walkers will develop Alzheimer's or even that amyloid plaques cause slow walking. It just shows an association. Still, exercise, including walking, is a good way to stave off Alzheimer's, not to mention heart disease, obesity, and diabetes. So exercise is good for all kinds of mm -hmm. stuff. For many benefits. Thank you, Dr. Max. You